PlayStation was a home console developed and manufactured by Sony. It was their first entry into the video game industry and was released in 1994 in Japan and subsequently in Europe and North America a year later. The original concept of the PlayStation dates all the way back to 1986 in a collaboration with Nintendo. Having already ventured into the floppy disk technology in the Famicom, Nintendo approached Sony and asked them to develop a CD-ROM add-on for the SNES. At the time, it was undecided if this add-on should be named the PlayStation with a space in between or the SNES CD. It was Ken Kutaragi, the man who would later be called the father of the PlayStation that originally convinced Nintendo on the project with an impressive demonstration. Although it seemed to go well at first, disagreement towards revenue distribution and royalties caused Nintendo to cancel the project many years after development started. This was a major setback for Sony, as they had spent a long time working on the prototype. As a potential solution, Sony decided to approach Sega, asking for a joint venture between them to produce a standalone console in collaboration. Unfortunately, Sega's board of directors in Tokyo immediately vetoed the idea, as they believed, Sony does not know how to make hardware or software, why would we want to do this? Although Sega's comments were harsh, they were not completely unfounded. After all, Sony in the early 90s had no experience in either game or console development. Despite the negative feedback from Sega, the then CEO of Sony, Noria Oga, had recognised the potential of the chip Kutaragi had created for the PlayStation and decided to press on with the development process. To make up for their alleged lack of experience, Sony turned their focus to third-party game developers rather than attempting to create everything themselves. This strategy ended up fundamentally differentiating Sony from their competitors, as it was the first time the game development process was properly streamlined by console manufacturer. With support from the likes of Namco and Konami, as well as 250 other development teams in Japan alone, Sony secured the launch of many new games such as Ridge Racer and Mortal Kombat 3. In addition, Sony bought the British game company Psygnosis, renaming it to Sony Interactive Entertainment and began developing games for the future console, including titles such as Wipeout and Destruction Derby. With the software side seemingly secured, Sony now needed the hardware to match. After many design choices, the final retail model of the PlayStation featured significant graphical fidelity improvements versus the previous generation of consoles. PlayStation games were encoded on CD-ROMs which featured vastly improved memory storage and richer visual environments. One of the PlayStation's strongest features was its proprietary video compression hardware which was integrated into the CPU. This allowed for the highest quality of pre-rendered footage of its generation which was one of its major selling points and is what popularised the use of cutscenes in many games on the system. The PlayStation was not alone in the fifth generation and, as expected, faced fierce competition. Its main competitors were the Nintendo 64, Sega Saturn and, to a lesser extent, the Atari Jaguar and 3DO Interactive Multiplayer. These consoles, while of high quality and designed by companies with said experience Sony apparently so desperately lacked, suffered severely from limited third-party support. The PlayStation, on the other hand, did not have this problem. Sony also had a very interesting marketing strategy. While Nintendo was mainly focused on a younger audience and the Sega Saturn towards a more mature one, Sony decided to strike the middle ground, catering towards teenagers and young adults. By Sony's philosophy, this strategy should by default appeal to the younger audience as children tended to look up to older gamers as role models. After years of development, the PlayStation finally went on sale in Japan on the 3rd of December 1994 at the price of around 40,000 yen, which was approximately $380. Sales in Japan were incredibly successful, aided by popular launch titles such as Wipeout, Ridge Racer and Tekken. There were very long lines in stores, with the PlayStation selling an incredible 100,000 units on the first day of release, with 2 million further units being sold after just 6 months in Japan alone. In fact, the console was so popular that prior to the North American and European release a year later at a retail price of $299, Japanese PlayStations were being shipped abroad by resellers 
at nearly $1,000 with many foreign buyers willing to pay the huge premium. The PlayStation's success was not limited to just launch titles. Sony's strategy of supporting third-party developers truly shined over the lifetime of the console with an incredible list of successful games. These include well-regarded franchises such as Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, Gran Turismo, Final Fantasy, Chrono Cross, Metal Gear Solid, Street Fighter, Castlevania, Spyro, Crash Bandicoot, Driver, Grand Theft Auto, Medal of Honor, Silent Hill, and many, many more. In fact, there were so many good titles released for the PlayStation that it had more games available than all other consoles combined of the generation. Somehow, it had quality and quantity. There were also a good number of peripherals released for the console. They include memory cards, both first and third party, the PlayStation mouse, the PlayStation analog joystick, the PlayStation link cable, the multiplayer adapter, the memory drive, the gun con, and the glasstron. Six years later, there was one major revision made to the PlayStation called the PS1. This was a smaller, redesigned version of the original console released on the 7th of July 2000. The PS1 was compatible with all prior PlayStation games and was very well received due to its sleeker design and smaller profile. There was another version of the PS1 called the Combo Pack which came with a 5-inch LCD screen attached allowing the player to enjoy the PlayStation without the need of a television. Despite Sony having no prior experience in either gaming hardware or software, in total, the PlayStation along with the PS1 managed to sell a combined 102 million units worldwide, making it the first home console in gaming history to break the 100 million milestone. To this day, the PlayStation is regarded as one of the most influential consoles of all time and has radically shifted the gaming industry that was at the time primarily dominated by first-party developers, especially Nintendo and Sega. By the late 1990s, Sony became a highly regarded console manufacturer which paved the way for its next generation consoles to come. This success serves as a stark reminder that at times, collaboration between developers will often yield better results and experience alone does not guarantee success as the fifth generation of consoles have shown. As the saying goes, united we stand, Divided we fall.